After clicking on the Convert to 3D button, you'll be presented with this template screen. And from here, you can choose the different room style you'll be using in your render. I'm going to choose Living Room 5. So after a few seconds, the room will pop in onto the screen. And you'll see that it's got the various elements of that template, such as the cornicing, the um, ceiling light, the background picture, the type of flooring, and the skirting. Okay, um, the first thing we can, we can focus on is the texturing. Texturing in VR is very easy. It's basically just a drag and drop process. So I'm going to open up a folder I've got with a few textures in. And it's as simple as just dragging your swatch or your scan onto the floor. Make sure that it's a JPEG, and you can see how easily it changes. So I'm just going to stick with this white tile for now. The next texture I can change is the texture on the orange chairs, for example. If I just go to my fabrics, drag and drop onto the chair, and there we go. I can also go and change the background image in the um, windows by going to my background folder and dragging and dropping a few images I have here. And there is Table Mountain in Cape Town where um, Burn Space is situated. There's another picture of Table Mountain. So I think I'm going to settle with this one of a wine farm for now. And I'm going to go to the other um, window at the back and put up the other image. Ideally, you don't want to have the same image in each photograph, but just for now, that's fine. Okay, that looks, that's starting to look good. Then we can go and do things like change the color of the walls, for example. And to do this, we'd bring up our material editor by clicking on the material editor shortcut or by going to the material menu and choosing material editor. You'll see that your cursor has now changed to a eyedropper. And if you select the surface of a wall, for example, you'll see that the name of the texture appears, the type of texture it is. And if we click on the t color tab, we'll be able to adjust the sliders and create different colors for the walls. Now, one of the first things you'll notice when you start using the program, as you can see that's happening here, is if I just select the color of this wall, all the other walls in the room are changing. That's because they all have the same texture. If I want to change the color of the back wall only, I'm going to have to create a new texture for it. To do that, you go to the base menu, you choose New, click OK, click Apply, then click on the, the wall you want to change the color of, and then go to Color. Now you can go and adjust the individual colors. OK, so I'm just going to make this a dark brown color. I'm going to select the other walls and make those all white. And I'll leave, maybe make the, the ceiling also a bit white. Okay, so that looks good for now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is just uh, change the color of this unit, for example. Bring a material editor op up again. Select the red. You'll see that it pops into this little preview over here. Select the texture button. And this texture button is a, a red map that's been applied to this wood. And now we can just go and make those white as well. Okay. I'll just make that zero, that zero, and this one. And add a slight bit of reflection to it. Alright. Um, next we can just finish furnishing the room. So I'm going to put a, a big TV over here. To do that, you go to your products library, go to show library, go down to household electricity appliances, television, and I'm going to put a big flat screen down. I'm just going to choose this one here. Just position your cursor over the tail over the cabinet, and I can see that this is a little bit too small for my taste. So what I'm going to do is just scale it up. To do this, you can either go to object, edit object scale. Or, by clicking on the selection tool, which is this green arrow over here, and selecting the unit, you can right-click and bring up an additional menu of Move, Scale, Move, Rotate, and Scale. I'm going to choose Scale for now. 
if you look, you'll see this red border going around the TV. That's just the different axis on which you'll be working. So if I were to grab one of these handles and move it forward, it would increase the thickness of the TV. If I wanted to make it go um, a bit taller, just press spacebar to change the different axis until you get the one that we want to work with. And just grab one of the, the handles and scale up the unit. And then once you've done, just remember to click Apply and Close. I can then go on to texture this TV if I wanted to. Just changing the background image there. And I can go and drop um, scenes from a movie, for example. Or you could put whatever sort of image you want. Okay, so you're just going to stick with that for now. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just put in a carpet. So go to products library, show library, go down to interior decoration, carpet, choose any one out of here, double click, and just left click to place it. Once again, we're just going to scale it up. So click on it, right click scale, and to tap spacebar to change the axis on which you'll be working. And then just scale it up. Now I'm going to put a little um, sort of side table lamp over here. Products library once again. And you're going to go down to lamp appliance, desk lamp. And then just choose whichever one you like. And just click to place it. And then I'm going to finish off this wall at the back here by putting three paintings on. So go to your products library again, show library. Go down to interior decoration, painting. And then just browse for whichever sort of painting you like. I'm going to just choose um, these three. Don't worry about the images that are on the paintings at the moment. You can change them just by using the simple drag and drop process. So I'm going to put it there. Perhaps just scale these up a bit. There we go. And uh, just put a few decorations on the server, as well as a big mirror at the back here. So to do that mirror, I'm going to go to the products library again, show library. Now to do the mirror, if you have additional library 3 installed, you can go down to um, expand the bath menu, go to mirror, and you can choose one of these mirrors here. I'll probably take this one for example. But if you don't, if you just have a normal system library, you can use a painting. So to do that, you just go to painting, under interior decoration, select a large format painting, just place it on the wall, and scale this up. It can be quite a large mirror. There we go. And um, we're going to use our material editor to select the painting. And under the color tab, we're going to remove this um, texture. So just clear that. And under reflection, we're going to put that all the way up to 1. And you'll see when we do our render, that will come out as a mirror finish. Now, I'm just going to go around the room um, putting a few extra de decorations in. And uh, once that's done, we'll start working with the lighting. <laughs>